40 degrees on the farm today. It is a cooker. I'm a little bit concerned about my builder yard. We have a lot of cells inside these colonies and but I can only rest assured that these hives are able to cool their units down appropriately. They're nicely bearded and fanning. I could hear them fanning while I was walking up to the yard and there's a bee line of bees flying straight over. We have a small dam, part of a small dams project. And they're making a bee line over to that water and coming back. So I imagine they're taking care of business within these nests. Oh, she is hot. I am glad that we have the split done because this would be unbearable to work in. There's a little bit of a breeze coming through, you probably can hear it. And I'm taking advantage of that, trying to help these girls out all I can. I don't have like a trellis over top of this yard. I should invest into something. Something to get these colonies off the ground and then something that allows sunlight through but shade at the same time like a trellis type deal. I might even look into that. But what I did is I put these lids on top just to shade this lid so that tremendous heat from the sun baking on this lid doesn't, you know, overheat the colony. So it can overheat this lid and then that breeze coming through hopefully will keep this unit a little bit cooler underneath. Must be bringing nectar in also because I can smell nectar. So efficient. These are my two left standing breeder colonies and they're not as panicked. I mean they're a little bit hot but they're actively working. They're fanning. Maybe more space. That's probably helping them out. But less urgency maybe. No pollen coming in today. Those would be loads of water. But just more of an urgent hum in this yard. That is what 40 degrees looks like in a bee yard.